How does water move into and out of cells? That's what this exam question is asking for one mark. The answer here is osmosis. The key here is that it talks about water and diffusion of water is basically osmosis. That's how water moves in and out. It's not breathing. That's how air gets in and out of the body and respiration, remember, that's the transfer of energy from glucose. Next question, we've got three different cells here. Cell P, Q and R. And it asks, into which cell, P, Q or R, will water move the fastest? So two keywords here, fastest and into. Which of these will the water move into? You need to look at the percentage of sugar solution here. So what you need to remember here is the higher the sugar solution, the lower the amount of water. The more water there is, the more dilute the solution is, therefore the higher the water concentration. So which of these has the highest water concentration and which of these has the lowest water concentration? The 1% 1, one would have the highest water concentration. The 3% one would have the lowest water concentration because it's got more sugar in it, so it's less space for water. It only has 97%, whereas the 1% 1 one has 99% water. The 2% one is still high, it's higher than the cell R because that's got 98% water. So what's going to happen is the water is going to move into cell R. You might get some water also going from the 2% to the 1%, but the question is asking into which cell will it move the fastest? That's going to be cell R because it's got the lowest water potential. So the answer here is R. 